I think a relationship is healthy when both parties are happy, um, when they're independent enough to do their own thing. Show the other that you love them in more ways than just the physical sense. You compliment each other. Understanding each other, your communication, I think that's key. Lying, cheating, things like that, that's, that's a pretty unhealthy relationship to me. And when people call each other names, like insulting names, they're distant from their friends, they're not who they used to be. They keep making excuses for the other person. You're begging for communication, you're begging for time. Feelings of hostility between each other. Or if they try to force you to do things that you are not comfortable doing. You start noticing that your friend is probably isolating themselves from you. Yeah, something's probably not right there. A healthy relationship is based on four pillars. Boundaries, equality, communication, and self-esteem. Boundaries being able to uh, ask yourself in your relationship, does my partner respect me as far as the things that they say to me, the way they touch me? Equality is about that give and take, being able to negotiate in a relationship. If you're in a relationship where the person's always telling you what to do and you feel like you're always raising the white flag, that may not be a healthy relationship. Communication, the ability to speak up and to advocate for yourself. And if you find yourself sometimes having that lump in your throat and not being able to speak out, it may not be a healthy relationship. And then finally, self-esteem. How do you feel about yourself? And the reality is that those first three pillars aren't there. If you don't have effective boundaries, equality, and communication, it can have an impact on how you feel about yourself. You can reduce the risk of being in an abusive relationship by knowing the signs. Communicate. What you're uncomfortable with, what you uh, expect out of the relationship. Knowing that past a little bit can give you a better perspective of how your future with them will be. Be aware of the signs and red flags. I think it's important to have an open line of communication with um, not only your partner but also friends and family. Being even being aware that you're in an abusive relationship is all about education. The best thing to do if you see a friend in an abusive relationship or you feel like you're sinking into an abusive relationship is just to research, ask, ask around, um, go to the counselors on campus and just ask questions. Just stay informed on it. If you or someone you know thinks that they may be in an unhealthy relationship, being inclusive of um, heterosexual, opposite sex couples, as well as same sex couples, there are plenty of resources on campus that are willing and able to help you um, through that.